won't forget. Yes. Your freedom. Yes. On Friday, you won't forget. Yes. Your freedom. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Next time I want to see you, I want to see you free. Yes. 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 receive his presence if you can, if you can. If not, you can do what you want to do. And that, that doesn't matter. Don't bother me. If we can learn to ride waves of freedom, especially when there are moments of freedom in the atmosphere, we learn to do things as a community and as a body. But if one of my fellow co-laborers are being free and delivered, I need to jump in and on that experience. I pray we never rush freedom moments again. Hallelujah! Because the choir has to say. Because you want to get your three points across. Sure. If we learn to ride waves of freedom, we don't have to preach people. Preach free. people. Yeah. 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 When the Spirit of the Lord manifests the character of freedom, the character of freedom, He does that in the atmosphere. We don't have to work because He does it all. Please don't go back to systems and man-made structures that limit the freedom of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, that's right. Just because it moves and shakes, that doesn't mean it's the Spirit of God. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Let the Spirit free. Yeah. Pray for your pastor and your leader. Yeah. 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 That they take the limits yeah. off of the Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Pray that the expectation of the people would arise. Arise. Yes. 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 Faith Thank rise on the people. Pray that intercessors would be in the sanctuary before worship. Yes. 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 Pray for prophetic declaration. Yes. That's right. That has the ability to arrest particles and matter. Come on. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And call all particles and matter to conform to the word of God. Yes. And the will and the purposes of God. Yes. Prophesy until you see it. Yeah. Yeah. Speak to the winds to start blowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Come on, Ezekiel. Come on, prophets. Prophets. You have the ability to speak to the wind. You may have to go into your church and lift up the windows. Prophesy to the wind until it stops blowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open up the doors. Understand, it, when the second you do that, that means people may start blowing off the pews. Yeah. Yeah. False leaders may start blowing off the pulpit. Yeah. When you ask the wind of his presence to blow. Right, right, right. Wow. There are people who are dying that need the wind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We need the winds of God to blow. Yeah. So much is happening in the earth. America's about to face so much. Yeah. We need the winds of God to blow. Yeah. The revival that's needed can only be initiated by the wind. Mm -hmm. So intercessors, go back home and pray the change. Prophesy the change. Mm -hmm. Don't let up off of it until it changes. Oh. And if the Lord tells you to switch locations, <laughs> yeah. then you need to move with the change. Yeah. Yeah. What? It's nothing worse to be in a place of the yeah. Yeah. Where the glory of God has departed. Yeah. Sorry, I don't want to be anywhere where the glory is. Yeah. Tonight, what I have to present tonight is going to be rough. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. 
And this is this is a word that I've been carrying in my spirit for a long time. And before you ever registered for this retreat, before we ever met, God gave me this word. So he knew you were coming. And this is just, I'm, I'm not, God, God's going to be the guinea pigs for tonight. I'm sorry, first part <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> but I, I, I believe when these, when this is going to be released tonight, it's going to be released. And it's, it's not just something that, I, that God gave me. He's given other leaders this. Um, I believe my sphere of influence needs this. And your sphere of influence needs this as well. This is going to upset some. It's going to disappoint some. But I believe there's a sound of reformation. <clears throat> Yes. It is hitting the earth. Yes. And it's coming to the doorstep of our churches. Yes. Sir. Christ wants his bride back. Yeah. There's a power button that's on the uh, on the screen tonight. Mm -hmm. There's nothing worse than having a button that gives you access to power and never push it. Mm. Nothing worse than watching something plug up to a power source. Right. But not manifesting that it has power because you fail to hit the power button. Wow. The power is present. Everything that Jesus released in the earth is still present. But I believe the people of God have to come to a place where we embrace the reformation and push the button again. That's right. Asking him the question, do you know what the power button is? Do you know what the power button is? Yeah. Asking him, do you know what the power button is? Do you know what the power button is? <laughs> there was a man in the 1500s who knew exactly where the power button was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name was Martin Luther. Right, yeah. mm. Martin Luther was one of the pioneers of Reformation. Yes, he and he's considered to be oh. one of the fathers of the Protestant yeah. Reformation. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. If we go any further, there are two words at the bottom of the screen. I hope you guys can see it. If you can't see it, I'll move the podium. One word is called protest. Mm -hmm. Protest means something said or done. Don't move that too far. <laughs> something said or done that shows disagreement, mm -hmm. which means an agreement has to be broken. With or disapproval of something, an event at which people gather together to show strong disapproval about something. Hmm. When I looked at this, Mary, I thought about the church, ecclesia. The ecclesia is a Greco Roman word, and it's, it's interesting because mm -hmm. ecclesia or the church is not what we think it is. Mm -hmm. That's right. The right. ecclesia was a, a group of lobbyists. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> who were gathered together by a crier mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to contradict or go against yes. political opinion <laughs> or political influence. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now this is interesting because Christ says to Peter that upon this rock I'll build my church or gathering of criers or protesters mm -hmm. who will go against a system mm -hmm. or go against a government. Mm -hmm. Which means, oh God, who way out here now. Which means the church's initial position is to protest. Which means the church should have a voice Amen. that contends against what is said and what is said that's contrary against the nature and the mind of God. Yes. 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 The sad thing is, uh, Pastor Lewis, we've been silent mm -hmm. and not protesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. What's interesting is I think, uh, who said it earlier about us Christians, we, we become passive. Yes. Mm -hmm. We've lost our spine, we've lost our backbone. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So seemingly we have no presence. Mm -hmm. Because when you don't have a voice, you don't have presence. Mm -hmm. When you have a voice, you have presence. Mm -hmm. So we're not influential in governmental decisions. and That's right. Mm -hmm. Laws can just pass. Mm -hmm. right. 
Especially when you have people who are not lifting up their voice. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Ask somebody, where's your voice? Where's your voice? Where's your voice? <laughs> Protest is not just something you say, it's something that you do. Yeah, yeah. Say that again. Thank you, Lord. And you can only say and do when you have broken agreement. <coughs> Could it be that we're not saying and doing because we're still in agreement? Right. Say that But when I disagree, that's a sign that I have broken agreement. And it is evident by action. Action. If I agree, I say nothing. If I agree, I do nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second word, reformation. The act of reforming or the state of being reformed. Mm -hmm. Which means there's a form that has been lost. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, wow. <laughs> yeah. we went from form to conform mm -hmm. to deform. That's right. Oh. Wow. What was originally formed has been lost because we conformed. Yeah. And once we conform, there is a deform. So, as we heard this weekend, the, the body seemingly looks deformed. It's because we have conformed. We look like something that is totally against our original form. Oh. Amen. Wow. Yeah. That's right. And it's not something that God had on his mind from the beginning. <coughs> so the divorce rate is higher in the church than it is in the world because there has been a conforming. Right. Right. Abortion has been acceptable now in the church because we've conformed. I thought we were about life. Amen. Our kids are more rebellious than the kids of the world. Could it be we've conformed? No. So when people say that you're a Christian, you're a believer, you're part of the church, you don't look like you're Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi said this. He said, I would have been a Christian yes. except uh, it yes. was for Christians. Yes. 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 Because I love your Christ form, uh -huh. but I hate your church uh -oh. e form. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in between form and deform, there is conforming. So Luther understood this. He said, listen, we've got to do something about this because there's an issue. There's a system that's in place that is conforming. Therefore, the church looks deformed. So he nailed with a hammer. I can still hear it. Oh, Y'all think I'm crazy. I can still hear the hammer and the nails. Wow. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. 